just covered it and um, now I have to you know kind of cut it and tuck it up underneath and, and glue it underneath the bottom just really nice and uh, six inch seam tape is going to be in the leading edge and the trailing edge um, the trailing edge flaps is going to get two inch seam tape two inch seam tape at the back just like the ailerons with uh, three inch seam tape in the front for the ailerons and uh, three inch I believe no is it two inch I think it's two inch or three inch something like that I think it's three inch around this tube just like the elevators um, for the wingtips so three inches around here right at the start of there excited so that that's pretty much completes the wing um, with, a, with a few little things I've got to um, put the uh, put the um, rivets in the top and then seam tape on the top glue it down putting in the large head aluminum rivets now uh, so you can see I burned with the um, soldering iron and just you got to be careful obviously you don't burn the fabric so um, Tom suggested to use a little sheet metal piece with a quarter inch hole I think it was something like that so yeah um, uh, I used something different but uh, I used actually a, a triangle that had a gap in it and that worked pretty good just got to be really careful but this is going to look cool, you know, um, these things going pretty easy and I'm going to do this and then um, obviously there's some finishing things like the aileron covering the top of the trailing edge ribs, that'll be pretty easy and, uh, and then tucking everything in, trimming it up, putting the finishing tape on. Just want to give you an update. Thanks for sticking with me, hope you're liking these videos. Please like and subscribe. Alright, here's the completed um, riveting on the top and the gluing underneath so I glued all the way around so the, the, the edge looks pretty smooth if I can see if I can get up in here I just glued it down and uh, that's so much easier to do it that way because then you can put the top um, sheet on the top fabric and iron it and get it looking really good and then from there go ahead and put all the Uh, rivets in. And of course I decided not to go with the strobe light. Maybe I'll do that later. And if I do that later I'll have to put some wire on a like on a metal piece and just put it all the way through. But I could probably do that. That shouldn't be too hard. But for right now I'm just going to do the some of the VFR essentials and not worry about the strobe lights. I'm not going to be flying it at night. Just flying it under light sport. So holes are poked again for the hinges. Um, I just have to cover the trailing edge ribs right here and what's left cover this and uh, wrap the aileron and there's one more thing I had to do I'm trying to think what it was as far as I can't remember but there's there I know there, I'm missing one thing I've got to do but uh, cover it cover the aileron and uh, oh I know um, I've got to poke holes for the um, um, for the struts so you know I have uh, holes but I've got to come underneath and cut holes in the bottom where the the, uh, the uh, bracket the strut brackets gonna come down and then on the back side that's the one that's at an angle so um, that faces the, uh, the inside airplane so okay I'm putting on the strips the seam tape and to be honest with you some of them look less than stellar but uh, here's the trick. Well, one thing you'll notice, and you may notice, is that the um, some of my ribs look a little kind of like not warped, but they just look a little bent. And that's that's probably just natural. That's just probably the fabric when the fabric was tightened. Um, it just pulls them a little weird way. But some of my tapes don't look very good. They're not really centered because I was trying to give it a look that would look a little bit more centered. Um, I, don't, I don't really mind. That's another example. So I just decided, you know what, I'm going to put them on the middle after this one. Then I started putting them on the middle. Here's the trick with the seam tapes. Um, if you try to glue it, or if you try to straighten it as you go, it's not going to come out good. Like right here, I'm going to have to re-glue that. I tried to glue it multiple times. You can see it's kind of weird. Um, it's got a lot of glue on it. I try to glue it and it's just, it's not doing really as well as this. Contrast that with this one. Just 
nice and straight. It's the last one I did. So the trick is, is you got to put a lot of glue on. Um, you want to glue the width, if not a little bit more than the tape. And you want to put the tape on from the back first. So put the tape on where it's nice and straight. And then the, the goal, here's the, here's the biggest tip you could do, is just pull the tape the way it wants to go. So if you pull it straight, it'll stay straight. And actually, it actually creates a better seam and it glues quicker and it doesn't have bubbles underneath of it, or at least less bubbles. So that's the trick. So you can see my first couple tapes, uh, seam tapes look horrible or not so nice. I don't like them, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'll remove it and try it again. I'm not sure, but but uh, yeah, and it's just kind of slow going. This is kind of tedious, but um, we're getting it done. I'm getting it done. And then after that, after this uh, two inch seam tape, uh, I'll put the six inch seam tape and I'll do the three inch on the wing tip. I think it's three inch. And then I'll do um, maybe three or six in the back, depending on what covers that. Uh, I think I did three inch on the bottom of the trailing edge ribs where, the, where it meets the wing, but I, I think I'll do um, three inch on the top as well if I can, but I think that might look a little nicer. Uh, I'm taking a risk by putting my glue on the top of the wing, so I don't want that to spill. Anyway, it is coming along. Um, it's just, yeah, it's kind of tedious. I'm, I'm really ready for this wing to be done and get the second wing started or the, and start moving to the fuselage, get that engine mounted and get the uh, main gear installed and then, you know, connect everything up and then the fabric work last. I'm not sure if I'm going to paint the wing. I, th I thought about painting, just going ahead and painting it. Um, I might just do that for the wings. And another thing I thought of is just is actually hanging it from the ceiling while I work on the second wing. So we'll see what happens. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll see if it even fits. I'm not sure if it fits there.